along the freezing and rocky paths of the snowy mountains. The soles of their vegan boots swept across the icy grounds in haste. Dr. Andrew Knight and the Vegan Three Peaks team raced against frosty wind, competing in the United Kingdom's infamous Three Peaks Challenge. The first thing we discovered was uh, snow unexpectedly halfway down the mountain. We certainly hadn't expected to see that much snow up there. So we went higher and higher up and the visibility began to drop and the wind started to pick up and fairly soon we were in a blizzard. So by the time we eventually staggered our way up to the summit, um, we were walking on about five feet of packed snow. We could only see about 30 feet at a time. We could barely see from one rock can to the next and we were following a trail in the snow that was left by people's footprints which was which was rapidly being blown over and disappearing uh, within about 30 minutes so it was a slightly dodgy situation it was about that time that I realized that going up there without a GPS uh, device might not have been the smartest idea um, it was a well below freezing at the top uh, we did take a little portable thermometer with us to check the temperature on the summits but there's no way any of us had the courage to take our hands out of our gloves up on Ben Nevis to actually check it but it was easily minus 10 and minus 15 Celsius with the wind chill up there. Just up ahead suddenly the ground fell away completely and there were these terrifying drops that just disappeared down into cloud. Uh, and, and that was actually the edge of Five Fingers Gully and walkers have been known to walk right off the edge in, in bad weather. It's the fastest way to descend uh, that particular side of, of Ben Nevis. And when I got there I knew that we were close to the summit. Adventurous viewers, greetings and welcome to Vegetarian Elite on Supreme Master Television. Today we are excited to have with us Dr. Andrew Knight, who shares with us his adventures with the Vegan Three Peaks team and the Extreme Vegan Sporting Association. Three Peaks Challenge uh, is a challenge whereby the competitors have to climb the highest mountains in Scotland, England and Wales, all, all the UK mountains, in the same 24 hour period. So uh, usually people start off uh, at Ben Nevis in Scotland, which is the UK's highest peak at uh, 1,344 metres. Head off down to Scaffold Pike in England uh, and you climb that at night time and then finish with Mount Snowdon in Wales. Uh, because we're vegans, having this, this advantage over normal competitors, we decided to try and make it harder for ourselves. Normal people uh, tackle Ben Nevis first because it is twice as big as the other mountains and uh, with, with snow and blizzards like that on the top it's, it's much much harder. Uh, however, as I said, being vegans we do have this advantage over meat eating competitors so we decided to tackle that one last when we are exhausted from already doing everything else, uh, thereby hoping to put ourselves on the same sort of level as meat eating competitors and, uh, and we, we feel we did that well. We, we came in with a respectable time even though we did do Ben Nevis, uh, ben Nevis last when we were, we were thoroughly exhausted. And they made it. In 23 hours and 25 minutes, Dr. Andrew Knight and his team became the first all-vegan teams to have completed in the UK's gruelling Three Peaks Challenge, travelling on foot for around 25 miles or 40 kilometres, by vehicle in between mountains for around 450 miles, and climbing a total of 10,000 feet or 3,050 metres over the peaks of the three highest mountains in all of Wales, Mount Snowdon, England, Scarfell Pike, and Scotland, Ben Nevis. By profession, Dr. Andrew Knight is a well-respected veterinarian with an office in London. The kind-hearted doctor is very passionate about animal welfare. He founded the Extreme Vegan Sporting Association to spread the benefits and possibilities of the compassionate vegan diet. To add to the list of his activities and accomplishments, Dr Knight is also the president of Animals Count UK, a political party that aims to create a better world for people as well as animals. Climbing 
the highest mountains in England, Scotland and Wales in the same period, the same day in fact, uh, was to try and raise money for Animals Count, which is our political party for animals, to demonstrate that vegans can uh, achieve feats of fitness and have a lot of fun at the same time. But hopefully it overcomes some of the misperceptions about the vegan lifestyle that do exist in certain quarters, uh, which is that vegans must be all weak and incapable of doing feats of fitness that are, are of this level, uh, climbing three mountains in 24 hours. Uh, secondly, the vegans can have a lot of fun and the vegan lifestyle isn't all about self-denial. Participating in the Three Peaks Challenge, Dr Knight and the team raised money for animal advocacy. So we were fundraising to help support the election campaign of Animals Count. And that's the first time that a party for the animals has ever contested these elections here in the United Kingdom. So that's very historic, really. So you know, we're hoping to encourage all political parties to take animal issues more seriously, increase the uh, time that they give to trying to protect animals within Parliament by demonstrating that people will vote uh, on uh, for animals and, and on behalf of animal issues. So we thought that that was a, a worthy cause to, to fundraise for on this occasion. When we return, Dr Andrew Knight is going to share with us some more adventures and the secrets of staying fit while enduring extreme conditions. You are watching Vegetarian Elite here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Vegetarian Elite. With us today is Dr. Andrew Knight, a veterinarian, the president of Animal Count Political Party, an extreme sports athlete and a devoted vegan who led an all-vegan team of four to conquer the United Kingdom's Three Peaks Challenge. Passionate about animal welfare, Dr. Knight actively promotes a complete plant-based vegan diet for the benefit of humanity and our co-inhabitants. So you're the founder of the Extreme Vegan Sporting Association. Can you tell us um, as to why you set it up? The actual association does have a serious purpose, which is to demonstrate to those sectors of the public that don't yet understand that veganism isn't all about self-denial and uh, denying ourselves things which are fun in life. Vegans can be very strong, very fit. Uh, the website exists to showcase um, vegan athletes around the world. We've got uh, famous uh, champion uh, vegan iron men and women, vegan bodybuilders, uh, Olympic athletes. Carl Lewis, for example, uh, won nine Olympic gold medals, one of the greatest athletes of the 20th century. He was vegan. There are many others as well. So it exists to demonstrate that vegans can be fit and strong and also can have a lot of fun. According to Dr Knight, vegan athletes have advantages of healthier bodies and simpler dietary needs, quicker recovery times and much more. There are famous vegan bodybuilders that have been very successful winning titles, uh, getting enough protein. There are supplements that vegan athletes need to think about adding into their diets, uh, perhaps. However, they also have advantages over meat-eating competitors because our diets are naturally much more rich in antioxidants and other nutrients that help us to repair tissue damage after exercise. So that can actually speed our recovery from exercise, enabling us to hit the next training session sooner and harder than uh, meat-eating athletes can. In high-altitude mountainous areas, Plant-based foods prove to be more efficient and provide enough nutrients to support and sustain athletes, even in extreme and physically demanding sports. It doesn't require so much energy from the body to actually digest the food. We get the benefits of it uh, more quickly, particularly in the case of fruit, uh, simple sugars which digest and are absorbed very rapidly. Uh, and we certainly used uh, a range of special vegan foods on this Three Peaks Challenge to keep us going. Uh, we had uh, vegan cheese, which uh, we mixed in with uh, stir-fry vegetables and lasagna, which provided our basic carbohydrate-rich fuel, uh, which are complex sugars which break down slowly and provide ongoing energy. We used our chunkies, which are made by Nuval Vegetarian Foods up on the actual uh, challenge itself, up on the mountains, along with vegan flapjacks by Shambu's uh, Vegan Caterers here in London. Dr. Andrew Knight lives to prove that his love for extreme sports has never been compromised by his vegan diet. 
I've been a vegan for a very long time, uh, for around about 15 years now. I did get to experience benefits um, over the coming years. I took up row gaining, which is a weird Australian sport because I'm Australian, uh, which is cross between orienteering and some kind of eco challenge. It's very long distance, cross country, navigational endurance uh, races in teams. And I went on to actually win some of these events though for one of them I had to myself and my partner had to go for 24 hours continuously through forest farmland uh, a rugged terrain uh, in in sort of the the outback the bush of, of Australia uh, and we only stopped once for a 10 minute period at sunset to put our, our torches and our night gear on even when we were moving we even when we were eating we had to keep moving so definitely I think that being a vegan gave me a bit of an advantage on these events because my diet was very naturally high in carbohydrates which is a slow release uh, sugar so provided constant fuel throughout the event these uh, dietary factors certainly contributed to the fact I found these events relatively easy I think compared to the heavier uh, meat eating competitors. So for other vegans who are watching who would like to become um, involved in your association, what can they do? They can let their hair down, they can get out and have extreme vegan adventures and they can send their photos and their video clips into us at the website and we'll get them up online to demonstrate you know, how much fun vegans can have around the world. Or our website is uh, extremevegansports.org and for the Vegan 3 Peaks Challenge our website is vegan3 with a, with a 3, vegan3peaks.info Dr. Andrew Knight is an inspiration for many around the world. The extreme weather never stops him, the height of cliffs never worries him, and treacherous terrains are never a match for Dr. Knight's perseverance and sportsmanship. His love for animals and people fuels his drive to bring the noble ideal of veganism closer to people's hearts through stunts and surprises. Nature-loving viewers, Thank you for your company today on Vegetarian Elite. Please stay with us for Between Master and Disciples, up next on Supreme Master Television. May more bright stars like Andrew arise from every corner of our world to brighten our planet with ever more kindness. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE.